Our next inductee was born in 1961 in the town of Sheridan, New York. Cheryl Burns was one of nine children, so it is very easy to see that she had to become very competitive at an early age to challenge her older brothers and had to become really good really fast to be able to compete with them. A 1979 graduate of Forestville Central School, Cheryl became the school's record holder in basketball for most points in a career, most points in a single game, most steals in a season, and the team's best foul shooter. She was also the team's most valuable player during her junior, and her accomplishments had her number 11 jersey retired at Forestville Central School. She also played four years of softball at Forestville, being named an All-Star in 1978 and 79. After her college years at Fredonia State and later at Slippery Rock University, Cheryl set her sights on becoming a very serious runner. She quickly made a name for herself, being named the Buffalo News Western New York Runner of the Year in 1994, and three years later again as the Runner of the Year in the women's age group 35 to 39. She set many records in the 5K and 10K events in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and New York. Not wanting to be complacent in her athletic desires, Cheryl added bike racing to her competitive sports resume. She won several long distance bike races very quickly, but her biking area ended in her third year of competition with a serious crash during a draft legal event. In her recovery, she started training for a triathlon event, which also attracts the most highly driven and motivational athletes such as Cheryl. She was a six-time qualifier for the USA National Triathlon, four-time qualifier for the World Triathlon, and earned podium spots in four USA National Championships for her age group. She also placed in the World Championship Triathlons in Australia and Montreal, and most recently earned a silver medal in the 2023 National Senior Olympic Games. In Cheryl's words, compete in any sport you can imagine and go for it as long as you can. And Cheryl lives by these words to this very day. Cheryl lives in Lakewood, New York now and is an agricultural science teacher at Casadega Valley Central School and also serves as a personal trainer. I am pleased and honored to introduce Cheryl Burns as an inductee into the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2024. I feel like a stuffed chicken <laughs> with its head cut off. Um, I didn't learn this from quarterbacks. They learned it from me, because I don't carry a purse. <laughs> I have a funny story with Roy Newman, who said a long time ago, Bernsey, when you get into the Hall of Fame, and I go, wait, 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 Roy, wait a minute. I don't know about that. He goes, well, you will someday, and when you do, can I take your picture? Because that's the only way I'm going to get in. <laughs> so Roy's in the Hall of Fame. He took my picture. There's many moments of reflection, even now, of those people that have humbled me, certainly not subtle, encouraged me, yelled at me to go faster. Remember Pat and Wendy? Corner Street in Buffalo, with a green beer in your hands at 9.30 in the morning. You're in second! Go! Go! <laughs> encouraged me, yes. Picked me up from emergency rooms asking them not to laugh just yet, Timmy, and those that have demonstrated unconditional love in all of my successes and failures have been a huge influence in my journeys. My competitive nature was strong from an early age. I couldn't lose at any game. Monopoly, chess, yes, even tiddlywinks. I invented games for my younger brother and I, Andy and I, to play in the backyard. They were all out, one-on-one, -on -one, Full court, bounce volleyball, snow basketball, hockey, you name it. I had to play it and win it. If Andy won, we had to play again. <laughs> I had a lot to do with Andy's younger years growing up. Now he's in therapy every day. <laughs> I mean, he works in therapy. He's helping seniors get stronger. It's, really, I meant that. Thanks for putting up with me, bro. My sister, only a year older, always being a wonderful nurse that she is, 
telling me not to push my body so hard, being there by phone or in person to help patch my injuries, surgeries, mental and emotional state, telling me she's so proud of me. Love you, sis. I've learned a great deal about the strong spirit of life through the wildlife that, I've been, that has been in my care. Nor would my eyes be so open if I hadn't met the Burns family, another form of wild. My husband, Pat, the guy who's put up with me, with all my crazy ideas and my ways of traveling through this life. Attending countless races, stressing him out when I didn't show when he thought I should, taking care of all the logistics of traveling and competing and just being there to cheer for me. That was the only way he was gonna get t-shirts and food, right? <laughs> Thank you, Burns. The reason I give you an out every five years of marriage. I really do. The whole Burns family has been a wonder influence. Mentors, sisters, brothers, and even their extended relationships. I'm indebted. Speaking of indebted, Lisa Biadri and the staff at Rehabilitation Specialist rehabilitated so many injuries, I was given frequent flyer miles when my insurance ran out. Thank you, Lisa. I only saw you roll your eyes and shake your head a few times. Rightly so, but I can't stop. How could we go anywhere without the best animal caretakers around to manage our farm and our wildlife? Bev and Bob Unger, unbelievable, the go-to every time to help us out. Kate Hagel, Colin Barmore, who gets a picture while competing across the pond with a golden retriever, Colin, and a fawn in diapers watching the live stream? <laughs> Trophies on the outside, Scars on the inside. Every visible scar is a story to be told. A trophy. It means living life. Scars that are on the heart are stories that are hidden and hard to tell. Those stories may not reveal themselves, but shape us and allow us to drive strength and determination toward a better life with successful outcomes. To everyone that I have been fortunate enough to train with, compete with, and build friendships with, this finds me more grateful than ever about life. Their stories, everyone here today, and those that could not make it, are filled with trophies and ever so inspiring. Facing adversities with a clear mind is the only way to work toward becoming faster and stronger. Each competition in life is humbling, win or lose. Winning games gives me a short feeling of exhilaration before my mind begins to critique my performance and I find I'm striving to do better. If you ask me how I will do before a race, my answer will be, depends on who shows up. If you ask me how I feel before a race, my answer will be, like a horse in the gate. There's no reason to explain a win or a loss, because on any given day, anything can happen, and it has. I'm with a group of master swimmers that want to maintain youth, still work hard, and feel what it may have been like to be back in school. I love it. It's with the Hall of Fame swimmer and coach Bill Rollinger, who would tell you he doesn't want to hear it. Don't question it. Swim faster, you'll have longer breaks. I understand the mentality, don't you? Thanks, coach. I stand here so humbled by the people being inducted today and those inducted in the past. I find myself shaking my head, questioning this huge honor. My emotions have jumped from feeling honored scared, excited, in awe, and of course, humbled. Thank you, Mr. Henderson and the Hall of Fame Committee for seeing what I sometimes have trouble seeing. This given day has me also wondering how an emu farmer gets to be in the Sports Hall of Fame. Emus are crazy and fast. Mike and Marge Metzger saw that in me, enough to nominate me, and I'm so appreciative and grateful. Thank you for all of your encouragement throughout my career and sports. Scott Kimberg, another Hall of Fame inductee, thank you for all the wonderful articles surrounding my sports career. Your inspiration and mentoring has pushed me to continue doing more, especially for others, and the ability to write this speech. You're a true human. I guess that makes this speech your fault. <laughs> I'm so, 
I'm so thankful to, to the Jamestown Cycle Shop for believing in me enough to sponsor me at national and world championships. Mike Donner, Steve, Randy, the crew were paramount in my ability to compete at those levels. Put your heart and soul into everything you do in life, whether you like it or not. These actions are taking you places you yet to discover. One of the quotes I have written, lived by, say when teaching, coaching, competing, and throughout many other aspects of life, I've discovered. Grab adventures, live life, use your God-given talents to be your best and to help others in your journey. Thank you. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Congratulations, Sean. Thank you. You're awesome.